so hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover the lab that is streaming processing with cloud prop sub and data flow quick start so first of all click on start lab now open cloud console in cognito window now in my case it is getting signed in automatically in case you need username and password always refer to the lab instructions now click on i agree and then agree and continue now we have to activate the cloud shell so for that click on this now wait for the cloud shell to activate meanwhile in case you haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe it and like the video finally cloud shell is ready now we will move forward to the description for the github report so do check it out now we have to enter it here now we need to export the region so for region you can move forward to the lab instruction and control f find the region or just you can select on the setup part as you can see here is the region copy the region carefully it might be different for you now enter it now this will first of all we will disable the data flow api and then re-enable it so wait for it and this step may take 10 to 20 seconds so finally it has been completed now we are enabling cloud scheduler api and we will create the cloud scheduler function so wait for it we will create a data flow job also at the last but sometimes you need to wait for 10 to 15 minutes depending on the lab manual Show you how does the job look so on the search box type data flow and it will open the data flow jobs so currently the job has not been created we need to wait for the job to be created so wait for it it will take some time so finally job is being initiated So now hit check my progress for the task as you can see we did not get the score on the last task because data flow job takes time that is maximum four to five minutes even 10 minutes also so you need to wait till you get score and just wait so now as you can see workers have started perfectly and here we are in 1 minute 18 seconds have passed for the cluster creation i mean job creation so now we need to wait more and then we'll move forward to the lab instruction and check my progress for this task also in case again i am repeating if you are unable to see the job running then you are unable to get the score just wait as you can see we got the score after waiting for four to five minutes as you can see it's six minutes total seven minutes we waited 